I'm Meg Neville, the costume designer for Long Day's Journey into Night. And this show, unlike uh, some of my previous shows here, such as uh, The Coconuts last year and Taming of the Shrew, is a very small, intimate show. Uh, it will be in the Thomas Theater and the Thrust, and the play takes place over the course of a day from about 11 a.m. until midnight, and the actors really don't change their clothes. So that means that the audience will be looking for hours <laughs> at the same clothes, and that gives us in the costume shop that much more pressure to make sure that the clothes are right and that there are details to catch your eye and give the the sense of realness that is so crucial to Long Day's journey. We're concerned about details like the pants not having zippers but having a button fly which was the period. And this is um, Jonathan Hogan's suit. This suit has been worn and loved and, and mended and we were actually thrilled to see that it was already distressed for us and looks lived in. You get the sense that these are clothes that they've had a long time, that they don't have money to buy other things. In the play itself, O'Neill wrote in very specific directions for the clothes. When he describes the suit that James Tyrone wears, he says that it is a shabby old suit and there is nothing picturesque about it. It's not quaintly shabby, it's actually a shabby suit. That detail is really important to telling the audience who the character is and it also plays into how Mike Winters uh, portrays him. Here we have from our fabulous stock a robe, men's distressed burgundy breast wool quilted collar and cuffs. And this is for James Tyrone. He puts the robe on in the last act. O'Neill wrote that it was an old brown robe. One of the things that we love about it is, as you can see, it's extremely worn and distressed. We will do a little work on it. We're going to replace the collar and the cuffs, but we were pretty delighted to find kind of the perfect but not too perfect thing in stock. Judith Marie Bergen is playing Mary Tyrone, and she is the lone female in this house of big men and with her clothes I wanted to get at really fine details. We found this vintage lace trim that will go on the dress and as her character becomes more detached and in her own world with her morphine there will be lots of small details that will help tell the story of her disintegration. I think our hopes for the performance of the show is that people will be drawn in closer to this story, which is the classic American story in such an intimate setting, will make the words and the performances resound even more.